What is up YouTube? It's your boy Johnny A. I'm back at you guys with another video today. Hope you guys are all doing good on this Wednesday. Today I'm just going to go over my Acorns portfolio, going to go over my Robinhood and Coinbase portfolio and my SoFi uh, and savings account to show you guys how everything is doing. I uh, hope you guys are all doing good on this Wednesday. I'm going to start off with crypto first and show you guys my SoFi account. Um, now, I did put money in here last week. Uh, this week, I didn't put anything. Uh, really didn't have uh, money to play around with this week. But um, not really much of a difference. The portfolio stands at 7197 at the time of recording. You can see my total gains at six seventy four and seventy five cents. Ethereum at one thousand nine hundred dollars at the time of recording. Bitcoin hovering around thirty thousand dollars. So the good news is that my both of my plays are in the plus right now. You can see Ethereum I'm up one fifty six, and Bitcoin I'm up two twenty nine and forty six cents. So uh, obviously we're still not at all time highs. So uh, right now, I'm just buying whatever I possibly can uh, in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So the crypto portfolio at $7,000 in SoFi. Going to show you guys my Coinbase portfolio uh, as well. Not really much of a difference. Um, I, like, I did buy a couple of Shiba Inu last week. Uh, bought more Algorand and as well as... Cardano last week uh, but that's about it I think I only threw like $15 in uh, all those three plays uh, you can see my balance at $1,352 the past day has been down $49 and this is where I'm at with all my cryptocurrencies in Coinbase down $57 in Chainlink Algorand down $829 that's my probably my biggest holding in, in Coinbase down $86 in Stellar Lumens, $268 in Shiba Inu, $60 down in Cardano, down $86 in Solana, down $20 in Polkadot, $11 in Decentraland. So, uh, still in the red in crypto so far. As for stocks, we'll look at the overall stock market. My Robinhood portfolio is at $670. Um, let's take a look at the overall S&P, the VOO. As for today, it was only down $0.89, cents, down $0.10 cents after hours. So not really much movement in the S&P 500 overall. Um, now, as far as my dividend investing in Robinhood... I now have five shares of royalty income. Uh, you can see here my total returns are still minus $7.06. But if you look at July 14th, I do have a $1.29 dividend pending for this month. So finally, a dollar. Obviously, it's not a lot of money, but my plan is to eventually build that up. I even have, like I've been thinking about it a lot of just taking out my money out of acorns and drawing it into... Uh, Robin Hood and I've been really thinking about thinking about it debating on it but I don't know something is just kind of holding me back and trying to uh, something's kind of still telling me to stick with acorns but at the same time I would love to see this dividend investing thing going but in the meantime I'm only at one dollar and 29 cents with the realty income dividend I have five shares of it uh, all my other plays are still in the negatives, unfortunately. So my Robinhood portfolio at six sixty nine. Um, now let's show you guys my Acorns. Um, I did throw money in Monday, so five dollars in there in the overall core account, which is at thirty six thirty six k. Um, let's see if this thing loads up. So all time, it's up $10,000, which is pretty good uh, for the day, down two thirty-five dollars in the past month. It's been, uh, let's see if this loads up, up $1,349, year-to-date up 
in the past year up 7,187. The five year it is up $10,120. So you can see here my Bitcoin strategy up 31%, which is great. Um, everything else is up in the green as well, except for the international company stocks, which is down 1.72%. Um, now here's my recent activity. Oh, it looks like I have that uh, Bitcoin strategy ETF dividend kicking in, which is, oh wait, excuse me. This is the VOO, large company stocks uh, dividend. So $75 of that is kicking in there. Um, so that's looking good. $75.97 of the VOO dividend for the month of June. I believe this is for June. Um, and dividends are, are at $2,801. Uh, I had a reoccurring investment of $5 on July 3rd. And was been dollar cost averaging $5 here and there. And that's basically where I'm at with my core account. As for the latest account, you can see it's at 3466 of 459 all time. Um, as well, dollar cost averaging. I do have a dividend. This is definitely the VOO dividend here. You can see $6.38. And that's going to get reinvested in my latest account. So that's looking good as far as the latest account goes. So 40 k in total of the VOO. Now let's show you guys my Yada savings account. Show you guys how that's performing. Currently at $2,565 in the Yada savings account. Now this week I haven't really won a lot of money. Um, you can see here yesterday I didn't win anything. On July 3rd I won 3 cents, 11 cents, 8 cents, 5 cents, 3 cents. So last seven days, only 33 cents in winnings all time. I've won $34, which isn't too bad. You know, can't complain there. But, you know, it's uh, better than nothing, which is, uh, you know, fortunately, a lot of these savings accounts nowadays don't really give you much interest. So, yeah, that's doing pretty well. Um, so we'll see how this plays out in the next couple of days and weeks. Obviously, I have this money in case of an emergency. If I have to take money out of here, then, you know, that's what that's why the money is in there. So uh, $2,565 in the Yada emergency account. So um, looking pretty good. Trying to get this to, uh, you know, $3,000 if I can. But uh, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys today as far as my savings and investments account goes. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I appreciate all of you subscribing. Uh, leave me your comments below. You can follow me on Instagram or TikTok. If you want to sign up for any of these uh, brokerages like SoFi, Acorns, Robinhood, Coinbase, check out my links in the description below. You can sign up for Yada as well if you want to start using a savings account, which is good. Um, for anything maybe a vacation savings account whatever the case may be yada is a great savings account uh application that you guys just start using so definitely check that out hope you guys enjoy the video i will see you guys on the next one peace